Hey there, I'm Jordan. I'm a bartender from Jazz Texas, and uh, here we're going to be making a tequila cocktail called the El Diablo, something of a, a classic. It was made in the 1940s, uh, Trader Vic, um, but it has a couple iterations, and uh, there's one way to do it, and there's a way that we do it here at Jazz. I'm going to show you the difference. Um, so, uh, this cocktail is a cousin of the Moscow Mule. If you're familiar, lime, ginger beer, vodka. Um, so we do something similar, except we replace the vodka with uh, Reposado tequila um, and add a little bit of cream because it gives a nice berry sweetness. Um, so to do that, we start with our Collins glass. Tall glass. And we're going to squeeze half of a lime straight into the glass like this. And then we're going to add an ounce and a half of Reposado tequila. And then we top with ice. Ginger uh, beer, ginger ale, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to give it half an ounce of cream de cassis as a float. And you can either garnish with uh, candy ginger or with a lime wedge, just like that. And uh, you have an El Diablo. Now here at Jazz Texas, uh, we make our own ginger syrup in-house, um, so we do it a little differently. So this recipe, we're gonna do three quarter of an ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarter of an ounce of our ginger syrup, half, uh, ounce and a half, rather, of our Reposado tequila. And we're going to get our Collins glass. We're going to fill it with ice. And we're going to add some ice to our shaker tin, um, just a little bit. We're looking to just kind of mix and chill this cocktail slightly. We don't want to dilute it too much, as we're going to be adding uh, club soda to it as well. And that we strain. Just like that. And now we're going to top with club soda. Again, we take our cream de cassis. And half an ounce. Gently float it over just like that. And same garnish. And that's how we make an El Diablo here at Jazz Texas. Enjoy.